Hey there, my name is Christy and I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a vetted ClickUp consultant. In today's video, I wanna go over something that people have a huge question mark around, but once you nail it down, it's pretty simple. What the heck do ClickUp guests have permission to do and when should you add them as a member versus a guest? Okay, so let's dive in. All right, let's go through the guest admin member situation. So adding different people to your workspace. So in the settings section is where you're gonna see where you can manage all of your people. So if you are adding a team member, this is where you're gonna do it. You can invite them by email by plugging in their email here, deciding if you want them to be a member or an admin, and then clicking invite. If they already have a ClickUp workspace and login of their own, then they're going to use that email and then it'll be available in their workspaces section in the bottom left of the screen so they can easily switch back and forth. But if they're brand new, they'll be prompted to create a login and password. So you can see the different permissions here with members versus admin. So I would suggest if you have a team member who you want access to all of your spaces, but you don't want them to be able to manage the spaces, people, billing, and other workspace settings, then that's when you're gonna add them as a member instead of an admin. So here's where you will add them, click invite. Then you have guests. So what are guests? These are people inside your workspace that maybe they're a client of yours and you wanna add them to their specific folder or list, they could just see access to that. Guests also have specific permissions when it comes to being added and I'll show you that in a second. But what I also wanna say is sometimes there are cases where team members can be added as guests. Because for example, for our YouTube process, we have a video editor. Now our video editor is just involved in the editing of our YouTube videos. He really does not need to be added to our ClickUp workspace as a member because he only needs access to the YouTube list and we don't wanna involve him and overwhelm him with all of that extra information. So guests can also be used for team members, but know that if you add someone as a team member and you want them to have access to multiple different spaces, that's when you're really gonna want them as a member because also when you add someone as a guest, you have to individually add them to each folder or list and they're not going to see those segmented spaces on the left side. So I just want to mention those few things as you're diving into, should I add this person as a guest versus a member versus an admin? Okay, so here we are in the tutorial space. So we have an example list here and then we have the team management bundle. So this team management bundle is in our template vault, right? And you're able to see that you can add, say you have a team resources folder that you want them to have access to the SOP library, KPI tracking, out of office calendar, etc. So if you add a guest, so if I click folder settings, sharing and permissions, and then I invite a guest to this folder, they will see the folder on their sidebar and everything underneath. So if I invite them by email and I do, let's do support. Okay, that one actually is support. So let's do consulting at desilvalife.com. So then click enter and you're going to be able to see hold on let's do that one more time consulting at desilvalife.com invite so then you're going to click invite do you want to add them as a member or a guest from guests you can then give them full edit comment or view only note if you give guests view only, they can't click into anything. They'll just be able to view anything. And all view only guests are completely free. So you can have unlimited amount. Okay, so full can edit and delete. Edit can edit, but can't delete. Comment can only comment. Assignees can change task status and set assignees. And then view only, again, you're just gonna be able to see view only. So you can also click learn more about permissions and then see exactly what they can do there as well. Okay, so I would click invite and then this person is now going to have access to this folder. Note as well, if you're adding a client or a team member as a guest, they will be have to create a login as well. So sometimes this stops pe people from wanting to add clients because they're like, they're not going to want to create a login, etc. Something that you can consider. 
Also, you can add guests to specific views. So when it comes to list board calendar, you can share a single view with a public link. Now these do not have to be accessed with a login. If I click this and I share this link with someone, they're gonna be able to see this. They're not gonna be able to do anything with it unless you open that, um, open, allow opening tasks on click. Then they'd be able to see inside the task. But this is not collaborative at all. It's a view only view, right? So you can always share that with your client as well. Or I have clients where I will have a doc view inside their list and you can share a doc. So you can do sharing and permissions, share this doc, so all pages of this doc view with your client or team member, and then they will be prompted to create a login and they will be able to collaborate within that doc, but they will not be able to see the other things within inside that list. So a couple different things going on here, stick with me. Um, so you're able to, again, add them to a folder, they have access to everything underneath that list, and then you can also just add them to one or two lists or however many you want as well, sharing and permissions, put in their email here and make sure you click guest. Once they are in as a guest, so let's go ahead and do that. If I do consulting at desilvalife.com, invite, let's add them as a guest and I'll do full guest. Now that consulting guest is gonna be in here and I can now go to the folder level sharing and permissions, and then invite DL Consulting to this folder as well. So you won't have to do that, type out the email and add them every single time. Once they're in your system as a guest, you can always pull them up. And then let's go back into the settings section for a second. Okay, and now you can see, I now have one guest in here, their invitation is pending, and you can see the different folders and lists they have access to, and then remove all access, or just X off that as well. So for our projects, when we add our clients to their doc or their dashboard or their folder or list, after their project is over, we make sure we come into this guest people section and we remove them as a guest from the workspace. So I hope this video was helpful for you, helped you with the whole question mark around guest member admin type permissions and how to actually set those permissions for your team members and or clients. With that, if this video was helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because there's a lot more ClickUp tutorials where that came from. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.